So California Congresswoman Maxine Waters now responding to a failed attempt by Republicans to censure her for encouraging the protesters in Brooklyn Center, Minneapolis, to get more confrontational in the event of a not guilty verdict. They put me yeah. up for censure because of my visit to Minneapolis. And my colleagues stood with me and they uh, voted to table uh, the motion that was put up to censor me because the, tar the Republicans love to use me as a target. They raise money on my back. Hmm. My next guest is running for Congress for a second time to unseat Maxine Waters. He served 13 years in the Navy, including tours in Iraq. Republican, California Republican Joe Collins joins me now. Uh, sir, thank you very much for being here. Um, she has served 15 terms. What makes you think that you can unseat her uh, in your home district? Well, yeah, she has been there for a long time. Thank you for having me. 16 mm -hmm. terms going on right now. Uh, people are really ready for new leadership, and I think that's what we can bring to the table. Our district is, you know, one of the poorest districts in the United States. She's been completely, um, you know, I I want to say she hasn't been in our district for a very long time. I want to leave it there. I have worse words to use, but I'll say she hasn't been in our district. She hasn't done anything to improve the quality of life for people who live in our community. And I think now it's time for a change. Interesting. Uh, here's what she said about uh, the GOP never being able to get her out of office. Listen to this. They raise money on my backs. That's that. Maxine Waters, uh, that black woman who is so uppity and uh, who is someone we can't control. And I keep getting reelected and these poor people, many of them retirees, they keep giving them their money. They don't seem to understand. They're not gonna uh, get me out of office. I'm here until I decide to retire. Hmm. Joe Collins, what do you say to that? <laughs> I think it's funny. I think that statement is farce. She does have a point though. She's been there for an extremely long time and people are absolutely sick of Maxine Waters. I mean, a statement that she made during the protest was completely unhinged. It was uncalled for. It was, it was irresponsible and it was dangerous. I think people who have been in a legislative branch should stay out of matters concerning judicial issues. And this is one of the problems that she has. No justice, no peace. Maxine Waters uh, had our community destroyed in South LA in the 90s. And I think she tried to do the same exact thing um, here in 2021. That's why it's absolutely important for people to be able to support our campaign so we can remove Maxine Waters from office. She thinks that she has the district uh, under control, but she doesn't. Our district is failing, poor education, uh, homeless increasing, gang violence is increasing, Maxine Waters, nowhere to be found. This is an opportune time mm -hmm. for us to be able to remove her from office. So what do you think is her biggest vulnerability? You know, you just mentioned a few issues, but where do you see an inroad? Where do you see a way to make people uh, want to make a different choice? Well, the lack of leadership that we've been able to get from Maxine Waters. I talk to people in the community all the time and they tell me, you know, Maxine Waters hasn't done anything for us. Yes, she's an older black woman. She's been here for a long time, but we need new leadership. And we have Jessica Patterson, who is the CA GOP chairwoman. We've been working together to figure out a way to get the Republican Party involved in inner cities because we see um, through research is that's where we lost our election last time. So this time we're going to get the Republican Party um, in the inner cities. They're going to back my campaign and we're going to win. Maxine Waters, like I said, she thinks she has it on lock. But she really doesn't. Interesting. Um, here's the vice president, Kamala Harris, talking about systemic racism in America. I, I want to play this for you and, and get your thought on the other side. America has a long history of systemic racism. Black Americans and black men in particular have been treated throughout the course of our history as less than human. What goes through your mind when you hear that, sir? Well, Kamala Harris has been on the Congressional Black Caucus for a very long time and has failed to pass policies to influence positively in the black community. When we talk about systemic racism, we have to talk about Joe Biden, his 94 crime bill and his lack of willingness to want to improve the black community. This is something that President Trump has offered to us. But unfortunately, you know, the uh, the country took the blue pill. Now, hopefully in this next election, they'll be thinking about something different because they are absolutely terrible when it comes to policy concerning the inner city. Joe Collins uh, running against Maxine Waters in his home district, the 43rd District of California. Thank you, sir. Good to have you here today. Thank, thank you for having me.